Hey, it's Andrew. I'm back with my scoreboard API. If you haven't seen my original video about this, um, you can check out the link in the description. But basically, I have been scraping ESPN for live sports scores. Um, I started out with the MLB and basically taking that data, scraping it, parsing it down, and returning it in a usable API. And as you can see, I made a few um, feature additions here. So if you go to the, the root of this API, you can see you kind of get a very simple web page that um, just lists the sports that are available in the endpoints. Um, and if I add additional endpoints or additional games or any more information, this is where I'm going to kind of plan on updating it. This is kind of the documentation for the endpoint, but not really. Um, I know this isn't standard practice to have a web page like this on the same um, server as the actual API, but I just wanted a quick way to get to my endpoints. And if I refresh, I don't have any scores right now. So that's awesome. So that's not working. So let me get back to you. Okay, so the problem was that my fetch data uh, utility here function was actually an asynchronous function, so I had to make sure I was awaiting the result of that. So if we go back and refresh, we can see that we have the data. Um, but like I was saying before, I just wanted to build a quick little web page to easily navigate my endpoints here um, because I do plan on adding different endpoints, uh, maybe a schedule instead of a scoreboard. But right now, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, obviously, as you can see, I've added um, these four other sports here. And if we take a look at the code, um, I have a more generic scoreboard route in my Express server. And basically, you pass in the sport as a route, as a request parameter. And if the sport doesn't exist in you know this, this object, then it's just going to return a 404. But if it does, then it's going to it's going to access the just my sports data right here and it's a pretty simple system i'm basically just having a, a schedule of pulling in the sport data every 30 seconds and just um, adding it or updating the local um, variable which i know is not a super robust way of handling it but essentially because this is just a middleware between espn and the data and outputting the API, I am fine with this with this route. And if I was going more production level or, or anything more robust, I would probably use some sort of server, whether that be MongoDB or just a simple Redis server to store the, the sports data. That's how I'm doing it for now. Um, like I said, every 30 seconds, pulling in the data and just browsing through ESPN's site and trying with different sports. These were the main sports that I could get to work without having to modify my my fetch data scrape function, um, which is actually pretty, you know, it surprised me. I didn't expect it to work for these other sports. Um, but now I just have to think about what else I want to add to this. And like it's been from the start, you can pull down my repo and play around with it and add things and change things. Um, but if you just want to play around with the API, I do actually have it hosted on Heroku. So you can play around with it. You can use the data for whatever you want. And let me know how you guys would plan to use this data. You know, it's just basically daily sports data updating every 30 seconds. So I could see some good uses for it, um, some different applications, some different websites, some some dashboards. Um, you know, the, the possibilities are endless. But if you guys decide to use this, just let me know. And I would be very excited to see what you guys can do with it. But that's pretty much it. I just want to give you guys a quick update on this API that I had built in a previous video. Um, kind of keep you guys up to date on what I've been working on. Um, again, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, subscribe, comment. And if you have any ideas of, of cool apps or different scraping projects that you want me to work on, just let me know and I will be glad to do that. Take care.